Hi, folks. Dr. Marlin and Dr. Marlin Superstars in Saxon and Dexter, Missouri. Let Jeff Williams rope a deal for you. If you've been looking for America's hottest selling SUV, the Chevrolet Equinox or the GMC Terrain with a 32 miles per gallon highway, we got them. Two huge locations to serve you. That's Morgan Chevrolet, Cadillac, and Dexter, and Audrey Morgan Incorporated in Sykeston, Missouri. If Morgan's standing on the back of your car, truck, or horse, you pay. Good morning. Welcome back once again to the Statesman News Network. Today we have several interesting stories for you. Today's top story comes from Clay County, Arkansas, where the body of a Bernie woman who has been missing since Christmas Eve was found Monday by area fishermen. The body of Shirley Stratton was found along the St. Francis River where it joins at the Dunklin County, Greene County, and Clay County line. Uh, 49-year-old Stratton was swept into the swollen ditch waters alongside U Highway near the Poe community early on the morning of December 24th while en route to her job in Popper Bluff. Despite rescue attempts from two area residents who witnessed her 99 Ford Taurus hydroplane and then travel into the rising floodwaters, the woman was carried into the swift and muddy waters that flowed down into the St. Francis River. The Water Patrol was assisted by the Highway Patrol, the Sheriff's Department, volunteers, and family for weeks in trying to locate her. Uh, they found a shoe that, that had been left and some other articles of clothing. When the body was found Monday, they found the other shoe and uh, jewelry that they have used to identify her. So they're pretty sure it's her. Uh, the Dexter School Board made an interesting move this week in signing a one-year contract with OPA Food Service of St. Louis. This marks the first time in history that Dexter has used a food service instead of in-house cooks. Employees currently in the system will have the option of working for OPA or staying within the district, but all new employees will be employed by OPA. There was no word yet on what this will mean to students within the districts and what have, on the cost of lunches. In local sports, Dexter's golf team backed up a solid first-round effort with an equally impressive Day 2 performance to take third place at the Misha Class 3 Golf State Championships Tuesday at Island Green Golf Club in Republic, Missouri. Chance Holden led the team with a tie for seventh in the individual division, putting together rounds of 73 and 76 for a 149 total. As a team, the Bearcats were tied with three other schools for third after an opening 316 that's the top four scores combined, and at the end of the second round, we're still tied with St. Francis Borgia with a 634 score. In the event of a tie, the outcome is decided by the team's fifth score, and Brennan Justice's 84 made the Bearcats outright winners of third place. So congratulations. Today has the potential to be quite stormy, with large amounts of rain and heavy thunderstorms coming through the area. You'll want to stay tuned to DailyStatesman.com or subscribe to our text alerts uh, for up-to-the-minute weather updates that are sent the moment the National Weather Service issues a warning. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us once again for the Statesman Newscast. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or submissions for our Reader Questions segment, email me, Corey, at cnoles at dailystatesman.com, or give me a call at 624-4545. Don't forget to pick up a copy of today's print edition for the stories you've already heard about and much more. And on that note, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching.